Welcome back, everybody, to the Furniture Academy podcast, which is what you are listening to right now. The most entertaining place for anything related to furniture, interior design, and home decor. The podcast is brought to you by Lazy Boy Southeast. We believe in passionately creating customers for life, one exceptional experience at a time. With eight Lazy Boy home furnishings and decor locations in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, check our links in the description to find more or go to thefurnitureacademy.com. And welcome back, everybody, to the Furniture Academy podcast. Uh, today, I have an, a new guest with uh, some interesting stuff to talk about. Uh, Charlie, how are you? I'm uh, doing good. It's good. Good to hear. Uh, so I got Charlie here. He's at the Pineville store, just like Ellie and Sammy. We've had both of them on the podcast this season. Okay. Uh, this is your first time on our podcast. That's correct. First time on any podcast. First time on any podcast. We're knocking some things out here today. Uh, so... What's that? Breaking barriers. Breaking barriers, that's right. Uh, so today we're going to talk about uh, some exclusive features that you only find on Lazy Boy's uh, recliners. Mm -hmm. uh, things that you won't find on any other recliner, no matter what. Uh, well, they don't have the patents that we do. That's right, yeah. We have, they have patents so that you can't find them on other recliners. Uh, so first, Charlie, let's, uh, let's talk about a little bit about you. How long have you been with Lazy Boy? I've been with Lazy Boy for just over two years. Over two years. Uh, worked at the store in a store in Tampa for just over a year, and I've been at this one for uh, going on nine months now. Okay. And you're a design consultant. I'm so a design consultant. You work in, in concert with the interior designers. That's correct. How's that? And What's that like? I try and, and, and put the whole room together for people. Yeah. And in order to do that, you know. A lot of people feel like they need a little extra help, and that's where the designers come in, and it's mm -hmm. really fantastic. Yeah, they do some good work. Yeah. I mean, I've most a lot of the videos I've done have been with the designers, and yeah. the, some of the stuff that they they put together, I just I can't I can't I could never do. You know, yeah. I see. I used to say that too. I used to tell customers, you know, I'm just a poor boy from Western Kentucky, and all <laughs> the taste I have is in my mouth. So yeah. if you need help with all the style, we will take you to the designers. Mm -hmm. uh, being here. As long as I have now, it's it's I've gotten a little more comfortable putting colors and different mm -hmm. things together. Yeah, that, that tends to happen too. I've noticed that too. Like um, a couple of months ago, they brought in I think it's a, one of the new duos actually in this store. Yep. And when they put it in, like the they, they were putting together the vignette and the the rug on the floor was like a beige color, mm -hmm. and then the the duo was actually beige too. Beige too, and then yep. like there were no pillows to bring out any color, and I'm just like. No, this has to go. We need to bring in some color, bring in maybe the new throw pillows. Like, um, and then I caught myself in the middle of talking to, I can't remember who it was. I was talking to two people and I was just like, wow, I would have never said this two right. years ago. Exactly. Like I never would have noticed. I would have been like, that looks good. Yep. But you know, after working here so long and working around. You pick it up. Yeah, you do, you do. So it's it, just a testament to, to Lazy Boy. Like, you know, there's just so much that goes into this. It's more than just recliners. Yeah. However, today, we're just talking about recliners. That's okay. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna talk about the seven exclusive features yeah. that are only on Lazy Boy. Um, now, do you want to break down real quick why these are very exclusive? You kind of touched on it a second ago. Well, I mean, the, the fact that Lazy Boy invented the recliner and the fact that nobody else can do most of the things that we can do. Um, and, and it comes down to being handmade and one of the five factories in Northern America that, that allows it. Uh, we're not buying our stuff overseas and putting a, a frame around it and trying to make it look like a competitor's. Mm -hmm. Like some of them that we have, we have one on the floor that's very interesting. Oh, we love to have those on the floor. Oh, yeah. Because there's a huge difference between a competitor and a lazy wood chair. Exactly. It doesn't matter which competitor it is. Yep. Uh, but the, the big reason is the patents. They hold so many patents. I don't even know the number, to be honest with you. I should, but uh, I don't. It's it's just under 100. It's, really? It's in the 90s. Yeah. Okay. So I'm you so you knew. I didn't know. I don't know the specific. I'm yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there, there's a reason for holding yes. those patents. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that only we can do. Like right. uh, our first one is going to be the lower back support. It's a really big one. Yeah. Um, I remember my first day here and I was being shown that I never would have thought of that. Like, you know, I've sat in recliners before and it just never occurred to me. And then when that was showed to me, yeah. when someone displayed, hey, you know, when you recline backwards, you actually have support on your lower back and then showed me the competitor. Right. No one else can have that. Right. It's because of the hinges that we have that, mm -hmm. that attach the back. Um, uh, coincidentally, it's also the same hinges that allow us to have the uh, back that comes off of the chair that nobody else can do. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the backrest is independent from the from the footrest and everything else, which is fantastic for nursing, um, where you can kind of slightly recline, 
and still rock. Um, so you can get the baby to go to sleep. And, and I hear that a lot. That's the, the, the baby rocker. <laughs> yes. yeah, that's perfect for that. Yep. I actually bought my, uh, my brother-in-law a yep. recliner for Christmas because they just had a baby. Oh, I was like, maybe, thank you. That's, there's a lot of us. Yeah. <laughs> it was maybe, I, I don't know, maybe a month after or so, and I bought him a, a recliner, and uh, he sent me, maybe a week later, they sent me photos of the baby just sleeping while rocking. Awesome. Yeah. He didn't have the, the leg rest up or anything, just, yep. just in there rocking with the baby. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's a big thing. Like uh, the the lower back support, uh, especially with me, I have you know bad back. Mm -hmm. um, so when I recline, I need that support in my lower back. Um, so not having that is huge. Yep. And anytime I go and sit in another recliner, it's just like you 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 can tell the difference now. Mm -hmm. You know, once you see a lazy boy, you don't go back. It's kind of ruins you. And and it's funny if you pay attention to it because I didn't know anything about lazy boy when I first started here. Right. Actually, it, it took me a while to figure out that I actually had one when I was little because yeah. we we're the only ones that ratchet, right? So, right, yeah. Um, but I had no idea until I heard that sound. I'm like, I mm -hmm. remember that from when I was little. My dad had one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, when you compare our chairs, when you sit in one of our chairs and you sit in one of our competitors' chairs and you push back on one of our competitors' chairs, first of all, you have to have the footrest up to be able to do it. And then you're pushing back and it just kind of goes away from you. And our chairs, the way they hinge it just kind of slides back and you actually still keep that full body support like he's talking about, mm -hmm. like you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny that you said that about the ratchet sound um, because I was at a friend's house, I think last summer, and they had just bought this house. Mm -hmm. And they bought it from an older couple who was retiring, moving down to Florida, yep. and they left all their, their furniture. Yep. And so I'm sitting there in his new house and um, he's sitting in a recliner that's like probably like 20, 30 years old. It's really old. Yeah. And I didn't think anything of it. And so then at one point he pulls up the, the, the leg rest and I hear that ratchet. I was like, hold on. Yep. Put that back down. And he pulled it back up. And I was like, that has to be a lazy boy. Yep. And I, I inspected it closer and I was like, dude, you have a lazy boy. Yep. They just left him a lazy yep. boy. And he was just so excited because he didn't, he didn't know it was a, right. a lazy boy at all, but he always wanted one. Yeah. Well, now he has yeah. one. It's 20 years by old, accident. but it's still, yeah, by accident. Right. It's 20 years old, but it's still working just fine, awesome. yeah. which is a testament to Lazy Boy again. My record is 47 years. 47 years? I believe it. Where did you, uh, is that like your, your dad's it, or something? It was a, it was an older lady in, in the Tampa area mm -hmm. that uh, she came in and said, I have a very old Lazy Boy and it still works, but I'm tired of the fabric. It was my great grandmother's. Mm -hmm. I was like, your great grandmother? I said, can you go home? Do you have anybody that can take a picture of underneath the footrest? And so she did, and we looked it up. And according to the code, uh, it was 47 years old oh my, at the time. Wow. And it still worked. Yeah. Fabric was, you know, not great, but it was the colors. That you, can always, you can always redo that fabric, exactly. yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. that's great. Sometimes that's it's time, you know? Yeah. 47 years is a long life for a piece of furniture. Yeah. Uh, Especially for the price. I mean, you got to think pennies, pennies a day, if yeah. that. Right. Because, I mean, how many days in a year? Yeah. 47 years. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Um, so we actually touched on our next topic, which mm -hmm. is uh, the reclining without uh, rec reclining and rocking at the same time. Right. Um, which is... the steps here. Well, We're yeah, <laughs> which is fine, which is fine. Um, it's, uh, it's easy to do when you're talking about Lazy Boy. Right. Uh, but the reclining and being able to rock at the same time, why is that so important? When you do not have your foot rest up and you can push back, um, being able to rock, it, 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 it's a soothing uh, feeling for, for most people. Uh, I, I mentioned that, that especially nursing babies, mm -hmm. um, that's the, the biggest advantage that I've seen. But um, I've talked to many people that are a little bit older, that they don't want their feet up all the time and they just like to kind of prop back and, and rock. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's good, to be, like you mentioned, the lower back support, so it keeps you in a stable position. It still gives you full body support, basically from your head to your to your knees mm -hmm. um, at that point. And it's, it's again, something that nobody else can do. Yeah, and it's another, another patent, right? Because yeah. everyone else, the way they have them built, you, in order to recline, that leg rest has to be up. Right. Right? You have to pull it up. That's right. And that actually leads into our next one, which is gonna be the three leg locking positions, yep. which is another patent exactly. by Lazy Boy, another exclusive feature. Exactly. So touch on that, tell, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, so there are two things involved in the footrest that nobody else can do. Uh, there is a three level locking footrest. So as you start to pull the handle, most people pull it and they wanna to get to the end and they don't notice. 
But as you start pulling your handle, you're going to notice one, two, and three clicks as it starts to come up. Now those clicks aren't just for noise making, uh, as a lot of people probably believe. Mm -hmm. um, those noises are if you stop after that first click, the leg rest will be low, but it'll actually lock on both sides. And it does that on all three levels. Um, the advantage there is, I mentioned that I got some disposable furniture uh, mm -hmm. that lasted less than a year. Um, part of the problem was the footrest started leaning to one direction. Um, yep, because there's no, there's no support there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, it, it, they, the way they put the mechanism, however you like to sit, some people like to lean one way or say, you know, if, you, if you're a little bit crooked or a little bit off, it's not a problem as long as you're comfortable. Uh, but it causes problems on a lot of our competitors' chairs. Um, and that's something that, you know, the lock and footrest, it's also a safety mechanism. Yeah. If your dog jumps up on it or if your kid wants to climb up and you have to mm -hmm. sleep, something like that, it's not going to close. It's not going to pinch anybody. Uh, you actually have to pull the handle mm -hmm. back up in order to get the chair to, to close. Yeah. And, you know, I've heard that before and I just never really thought anything of it. Mm -hmm. But then I got my Lazy Boys mm -hmm. and my dog likes to, likes to sleep underneath my when I have the leg rest up. Yeah. He likes to sleep underneath that. You'd be surprised how common that is. Yeah, I know. I was I was I was like, what are you doing down there? Because he's never, you know, he's never slept like that, right? But also I've never had, you know, a lazy boy. Yeah. Uh, so it's really convenient because then I have to get up and I have to kind of like do a gymnastics like tumble out of there so that, you know, I don't because I can't close it. Right. He won't move. He's very stubborn. <laughs> so it's nice that it's locking because I can put my whole weight on that yeah. and not have to worry about it just crumbling underneath them right or on top of them I should say um, so yeah it's a uh, it's very it's very important to have mm -hmm. that which is also another thing that is not on any other exactly. recliner um, say that just repetitively the whole we time. really are because that's really what this whole this whole thing is <laughs> about true, right? it really is yeah. uh, it sounds like you know just us talking good about lazy way but this is the truth right. there's a reason why you know they invented the, the recliner there's a reason why there's a reason why it's a, a household name mm -hmm. um, and it's a reason why you know it's 91 years later and they're mm -hmm. still thriving yeah. still doing great yeah. all around the world too not just here um, so let's go ahead and go into the kind of the, what we were talking about the, the ratchet sound yeah which is one of my favorite sounds I love sometimes I just I'll pull the handle and put it back down like while I'm watching TV yeah. just do that back and forth just because I really I I'm addicted to the I've sound. I've never heard that before. But that's really? You've never heard that? <laughs> I literally do it. Yeah. Um, I'm sometimes worried I'm going to break something. Nope. But um, That's another uh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Lifetime guarantee on the frame, the springs, and the screens. Yeah. It's, it makes it easy. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's, well, yeah, that's, so, that's, that's good for me to, yeah, to know yeah. because I really do. Sometimes, because I have to, I'm a, I'm a fidgeter, yeah. right? So when I'm sitting there watching a movie, I'm sitting there pushing it, putting it back, right. pushing it, pulling it back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, moving on to the next one is the 16 locking recliner positions, yep. um, which equals uh, with all the positions, what, 48, I think it is? Uh, I, I prefer to say infinite. Infinite, okay. Because the way the back hinges is actually infinite because you can find whatever position you like mm -hmm. to be at. Um, technically, yes, there's, if you count the sitting position and once you go past the last tooth, the 16th tooth, so that would leave 18 positions and then it just gets wacky. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I've worked here for two years and it's not always busy, so you get to play around with these chairs. Right, so, yeah. Uh, it's product knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, when you get into, uh, when you first sit in a Lazy Boy and you're not familiar with Lazy Boy, uh, for the most part, people are going to pull the handle up and, and sit there and their feet are very low and they don't realize that it actually does more. So they'll sit in the chair and they'll keep their feet low and sometimes I'll just watch them and see how they you know if they're going to figure it out or not mm -hmm. uh, and after a couple of seconds if they don't I'll ask them if they need some help sure and you just kind of kick the footrest up on them and then their eyes just open up like oh my god you can you can do that and mm -hmm. lean its back oh yeah yeah Sense. So, and I'll ask them can I help you do you mind because there's some things that this chair does that you might not know about and then you slowly push the back back until they tell you you know that's enough mm -hmm. um, yeah a lot of times they won't a lot of times you get them all the way back and they're like oh my goodness this thing goes completely mm -hmm. flat and that's I think advantage. I think the first time I I got mine, um, I think I had only sat in it a few times, and I leaned all the way back, and f for a couple of times I thought I was going to fall backwards. Right. Like, I didn't know it stopped. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think the first time someone showed me, 
Uh, it was Jonathan actually. He was showing me in this store. Yeah. And like he, like I kind of leaned backwards and I kind of got scared. He's like, No, 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 keep going, keep going, right. keep going. You're yeah. safe. It's not going to fall over. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's at first it can be almost terrifying because oh. you you think you're going to fall backwards. A lot of times it takes me actually sitting in a chair next to a customer and mm -hmm. just throwing it all the way back and then they're like, Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Like it's not going to go over like I thought it might. And no, it's not. It mm -hmm. takes, and I'll show them. I'll, if you grab something behind you and start pulling on it when you're completely flat in a chair, it takes a lot of pressure yeah. to get it to go over. Mm -hmm. um, and the great thing is, too, like you can adjust the tension on that, too. Exactly. So you, if you don't want to like easily fling all the way back, you can make it really hard to push back. Is that the next one? That is not the next one, though. Uh, but you're, you're close. It, <laughs> it could have been, but it wasn't. Uh, the next one is actually going to be the unibody frame, oh, which yeah. is huge. Yep. I think possibly the most important thing of the, the Lazy Boy, in my opinion. When I first started at Lazy Boy, I didn't believe that portion. Mm -hmm. I didn't believe. It's something I would have never even considered. We're the only ones that have a four-sided unibody frame. Mm -hmm. How does How is that possible? It's mm -hmm. a piece of furniture. It's got four sides. Yeah. Well, when you look at our competition and you look at when you throw and the footrest And I'll throw it in this video while you're talking, okay. actually. Yeah. But yeah. When you, when you throw the footrest up on a competitor's chair, uh, you see that the front of that chair is not connected. Mm -hmm. uh, Lazy Boys actually have two unibody frames. There's one on the inside that connects the seat box. So that's where the sinuous springs and the plopper stoppers and all that stuff are. I don't know how technical we want to get or how As technical as you want to get, man. Okay. Yeah. Um, this, this is stuff that people don't know. Like I said, right. when I was told about the unibody frame, at first I was like, that's really not that important. Right. And then I really saw the competitor and realized how important it right. really is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so you have the one that, that the solid wood frame that, that is, is the seat box basically. And then you have another solid wood frame on the outside of the chair and you can see that on any of them where you can actually see that the front of the chair, and this is the one that tells you the most, the front of the chair is actually connected. Um, when you look at the other chairs and see that the front's not connected and you realize that when you stand up out of a recliner, you're putting your weight on the armrest. Mm -hmm. so, Which is another thing I never even thought of. And I was like, that's true. Yep. Uh, there are varying degrees of how much weight you're putting mm -hmm. on those armrests. So mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, over time, if you have a chair that's not connected in the front and you have people that are using that, it's going to start to wiggle like a pair of sunglasses mm -hmm. or, or reading light, whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's going to start to wiggle and then that just breaks down the whole chair. It can go all kinds of different directions when it's solid, a square frame. Mm -hmm. it, it takes a lot more effort. Yeah. There has to be something drastically wrong with that chair and then we cover that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, like you know, would you build a house with only three sides? Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's, it's basic uh, construction. Right. Yeah, you know, but we're the only ones. We have a patent on that. Well, we have a patent on it, but also it, we're the only ones that are willing to. And this is, is something that it, it's hard to get into people's heads sometimes. Is that we do things that nobody else does, um, and we're selling most of it at a comparable price. Yeah, for so, everything that's inside of the recliner, absolutely. Right. Yeah. So it, it's amazing to me when you get people that are, oh, you guys are way too expensive. Well, mm -hmm. hold on a second. You got a lot to look at here. Mm -hmm. Because if you're comparing apples to apples, we're not. Yeah. If you're comparing apples to oranges, yeah, you can say we're expensive. And we just talked about a recliner that's 47 years old and still in working condition. Right. You might need to you know, redo the upholstery, but... There aren't many other companies that can say that. Exactly. And you were just talking before we even got on camera, and you've mentioned this, is you had a recliner that lasted less than a year. Yep. From a competitor. That's right. And you paid pretty much the exact same price. And, and by pretty much, I mean literally almost the same price. Within $100. Yeah, within $100, which is huge. I mean, $100 is... Well, when you're fresh out of college. You know? Yes, you're yeah. You're coming out of college and you're getting your apartment and you're looking, you know, just get on your feet. And you're not planning on spending a whole mm -hmm. lot of time in your house, but over time you realize that, you know, that's where you want to be. Yeah. That's where you want to yeah. save money. You want to get... And it's funny, it's funny before, before working, you know, or at Lazy Boy, I was like, furniture, whatever, doesn't yep. matter. I'll right. go to Ikea and buy furniture that cost me $5, yep. and then if it breaks in two years, I don't care. Yep. But now I'm filling my house with stuff that's gonna last me and when I first like for years. Here, exactly, when I first started here, it was the same thing. I walked in and everything looked the same. Yeah. All the recliners, you walk through the back, the sea of recliners, and they all look the same. Oh, these are fabric and these are leather. The rest of it, you know, they're... Now, when I see a customer walking through the door, 
I'm thinking in my head, okay, let's see if they have back problems, let's see what the issue is, and I can put them, based on their height, their weight, all that, mm-hmm. into a recliner. I, within within three tries, we're going to get you the one that fits you the best. See, that's another thing. Uh, we made multiple videos about this, and I make I have a whole re- recliner review series about this, is that um, there's a whole science behind fitting you in a, in a chair. Exactly. Which I was blown away. Yeah. N- had no idea that you know there's an actual science, and you know I thought every recliner is one size fit all, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. And it can actually be damaging to you if you don't get the right one. Exactly. Which is just another mind blowing thing that we can talk about yeah. in another yeah. video, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Um, but yeah, the uh, the last thing I want to say about the unibody frame construction is the wood it's made out of too, which is OSB board. OSB right. is on the outside. Uh, yeah. Right. That's 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 part of the outside solid unibody frame. Mm-hmm. Uh, the inside solid unibody frame that I mentioned is actually kiln dried. Um, I want to say, you know what? I'm not sure. Okay. Not sure, but I, yeah. I know it's a kiln dried solid wood. I think it might be maple, but I'm not 100. Mm-hmm. Um, but the the main point is the OSB, which is made to withstand hurricanes. Right. Uh, which. And being from Florida, we used to put OSB on our windows. Yes, um, which is well, another thing that I heard. I was like, you're making chairs out of what that's supposed to withstand yeah. hurricanes. See, the key there, a lot of people think it's particle board. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people think that OSB is just an inexpensive way for us to make chairs. Uh, the fact of it is that OSB actually tests better uh, when you compare it to solid wood on impacts, which is why we use it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which is why we use it on the windows of our houses in, mm-hmm. in the south in Florida. Um, it, when you have solid wood, it very easily cracks when it gets impacted or struck by something. Um, on the sides and on the back of your chair, you don't want something that is going to crack easily. So we yeah. don't use it. Especially because you're putting all your weight to get out, exactly. get out of that chair. Right. Yeah. yeah. It um, is better and everything. So. Which is why I wanted to say something about OSB. It's yeah. very important. Yeah. Um, our OSB is not your standard OSB that you can get at Home Depot or whatever. Um, ours is made to our science, or scientists, our, uh, what do you call it, engineers mm-hmm. specifications. Those are, um, they're scientists too? Engineers? Yeah, well they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. It's a different uh, kind of science, exactly. but it's, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're made to our, our engineer specific, specifically for Lazy Boy, and nobody else gets that OSB, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. Um, there's some advantages there too. Good. I didn't know all that. Uh, so it's good that we're having this conversation. I'll learn something in each episode, which is great. <laughs> Uh, so you should definitely follow along. Uh, so the next thing is going to be the dual locking, um, dual locking footrest. Yeah. Have we touched on that yet? We did I, a little bit. Okay. So um, talk to me a little bit about that. Well, having having uh, when I mentioned the three level, um, having the the footrest at each level lock on both sides basically is the safety feature. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what keeps your dog from from getting squished, right? That's right. Yeah. Um, there is... He'd be very angry. Yes. Um, <laughs> you would too, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so you can think of it as though there's six locking positions on that footrest. And real, realistically, um, just know that you're safe uh, and your kids are safe if they're trying to climb up on it underneath you. Um, there is a feature with Lazy Boy that's not very well known, but I have had customers call and ask me about it, so I like to just let people know. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a safety feature with our recliners. If there is a great impact on the end of a footrest while it's up, it will close itself, and it's meant to do that. Oh wow, I didn't know that. So if somebody runs into it, other than rather than the system or the the, uh, mechanism snapping or breaking at a certain point, it just releases and closes. Oh wow. So yeah, no, I didn't know that Maybe at be all. Be careful with that. Anyway. Yeah, but yeah, no <laughs> kidding, right? Um, it's just a common question. I like to touch on those. See, that's really funny because I've I've talked about this before, mm-hmm. and I've never known that part of it. Really? Maybe I just wasn't listening. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's not. It, it, that's not something that should be a key or anything. It's, yeah. it's like I said, it's an emergency. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, it's nice to have that way you don't right. break anything. Right. Which is cool. Yeah. Um, so let's go on to the next point, which is one of my favorites, is uh, we're all about comfort here, mm-hmm. right? We want to make really comfortable furniture because no one wants to sit on furniture that is, you know, uncomfortable. Right. Um, so the next thing is going to be the contour cut foam. Right. I've heard a lot about this, and it's specifically designed for Lazy Boy, right? Yeah. And it's yeah. not just fill. Correct. It's foam. Right. So. Um, it- there are, are specifics as to the way the foam is produced, but the, the, the most important thing to me is based on the style that you're looking at of the recliner, 
um, it, it's laser cut to fit that precise style. So mm -hmm. when you come into Lazy Boy, and, and one other thing that we get a lot is, oh, that's way too puffy, or that its style, it just looks like it's overstuffed, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, when you're looking at the divisions, those aren't, our designers didn't pick a chair and say, we're going to make this as puffy looking as possible. Our designers sat down and, and looked at the chair and said, how are we going to make this the most comfortable? So mm -hmm. when you see those divisions in the chairs, the seams and things like that, those are comfort cuts. Those are meant to make you as comfortable as possible because there's different foam in different portions of that chair, of that back. Um, and sometimes in the seat too. Mm -hmm. uh, Maverick and um, uh, Grayson. I like the Maverick. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. Uh, Maverick and Grayson both have very contour cut seating. Mm -hmm. It just makes it look a lot of people. Oh, it looks like the Michelin Man, or it looks like mm -hmm. my grandpa's chair. You know, yeah, things it's your your standard traditional lazy gets, boy that you would imagine, right? And yeah. it gets somewhat of a negative connotation from mm -hmm. from some customers. And you just say, look, I mean, if, if your proof is in the pudding, you know, yeah, just sit in it and yeah. try it. That's the only way to know. And it's and funny, blown away. You know, I mean, the Grayson is obviously one of the most popular ones yeah. because it's the biggest one. Um, yeah. And a lot of people come in here, they want that yeah. really big recliner that uh, just fills up their entire house right. um, and at first I thought the Grayson was great and then I learned about the differences between all the lazy boys and now I'm just like Grayson's not for me yep. I'm more of a pinnacle Casey yep. you know the the smaller recliners yep. because that's specifically designed for me and it also gives you more back support depends that's on right. the style right. I don't want to get into that too deeply right but not. that's yeah. that's kind of what you were touching on with it the contour true. cut foam yes uh, the Grayson is puffy and you know that the foam is specifically designed for that body type. Right. And the same thing with the Casey, is specifically designed for that. Yeah. Um, which is something you won't find in other other recliners. Right. They make a one size fits all for the most part. That's true. Though they may have a small, medium, and a large, but that's still a one size fit all for that, mm -hmm. for that, you know, small, medium, large body type. Yep. Whereas we have there's a small, but there's twenty different styles for small. Right. There's a medium, but there's twenty different styles for medium. Right. Everything's specifically designed for the uh, for each body type. Exactly. So that whole yeah. science behind it. Yep. 91 years of, of science. It's crazy. That's, that's right. Right? <laughs> they, they learned coming from, you know, what was it, 1929? 1927. 27. Yep. I was off by two years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's the contour cut foam is a, it's a big feature as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's basically all the seven most important things about Lazy Boy, it's exclusive yep. things about Lazy Boy that you won't find in any other recliner. Um, and I've, I've covered this a couple of times, but it's you know it's what makes us different. It's what makes Lazy Boy different, sure. and it's what makes it worth the the, the purchase. Right. Um, so, uh, do we have any any last thoughts about Lazy Boy? Anything last that you want to say before I plug people to come see you? <laughs> I was just gonna say. I mean, before you go for the cheapest option, I mean, come and see yeah. what we have to show you because yeah. there's there's a lot here and there's a lot of things that people mm. don't know that we can do that we can yeah. do. So. People who walk in, some people who have never been in Lazy Boy, yeah. they walk in and they're just blown away. A lot of people, when I tell them about Lazy Boy, like, oh, you mean the people who just sell recliners? Like, right. No, you can also buy like we living room, room, bedroom, room, dining room, room. Yeah. office even. You yeah. can buy office yeah. supplies. Yeah. Um, and then they're just blown away, which yeah. is you know kind of why we do these videos, because people th still think it's just recliners. Right. Pretty big store for just recliners. It is. Yeah. It is. And it's funny, too, because we have people that come in and, you know, they, Oh, we don't want to. We just want to look around. We just want to look around, and mm -hmm. then you let them look yeah. around a little while, and you say, "Oh, okay. So, you know, what can we point you towards?" Mm -hmm. um, oh, well, we're looking for a chair like this, but we want it in a different color. So this is not going to work. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad that I can help you. Yes, yeah. we actually have almost a thousand fabrics to choose from. That's right. Dozens of leathers to choose from yeah. too. If you want a different color, if you, different if you go on the website, you get lost. There are yes. just tons of swatches yeah. for each one. It's easy to. to let it drown you out yeah you know, and get very confused there so because you'll go to other stores and what's on the floor is what they have or you have two color options exactly and then yeah. if you're special ordering it takes eight to sixteen weeks yeah. for it to come in because it's container shipped yeah ours if we're special ordering it takes four to six and that's because we get it right from dayton tennessee or newton mississippi mm -hmm. made in america yep. made in the united states i should say in the united states in the united right. states yeah um so that's pretty much all we have for today uh the seven features and benefits exclusively on lazy boy um, if you like what you've heard and you want to see more, always hit that subscribe button located down below. And there's also, if you check in the description, a link where you can sign up and you can actually talk to Charlie himself in person, uh, who is at the Pineville store in yes, North sir. Carolina, Pineville, North Carolina. Yes, sir. Um, so that's all we have for you today. Thank you for joining me today, Charlie. Absolutely. A lot of Thank information I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't heard before actually. Yeah. 
covering this cool. for so many times, and I still haven't. There's some things I was like, wow, I well, actually there's didn't so know that. To it that yeah. You know. There's only so much time right. in, that I can put in a video. Yeah. My videos are usually three to five minutes, and you know, I've you know had a lot, cut out a lot because there's a lot of information. Yeah. So thank you for coming. Absolutely. All right, buddy.